You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Welcome to the Rides Winning Insights, Horse and Rider's mini sewed series where we share audio lessons from Horse and Rider on demand trusted Western professionals. At Horse and Rider On Demand, you can enjoy hundreds of how-to videos from disciplines like reining, ranch riding, reined cow horse, natural horsemanship, and more. Plus, you'll get insider access to clinic footage and step-by-step tutorials taught by top-level Western professionals. Head over to ondemand.horseandrider.com and use promo code THERIDE for 15% off our basic membership. That's ondemand.horseandrider.com and code THERIDE for 15% off. In this episode of Winning Insights, Brad Barkmeyer breaks down how leaning when you're riding your horse can impact his performance. He gives you a couple examples from different disciplines. This episode of Winning Insights is brought to you by El Lugar. Our cherished horses are more than a mere activity on a list. We are a bustling horse ranch with more than 50 of the finest Costa Rican bred horses and the heart of our sister property, the El Lugar Resort in Costa Rica. We create an adventure for you and your unique talents, abilities, and desires. What would make this the most beautiful experience of your life? We'd love to know. Learn more at www.lencanto.cr. So we've had several questions about uh, the effects of leaning when you're riding a horse. Um, I guess I would break it down into two pieces. One of them is on a straight line if you're leaning, uh, the effects of that. The other would be obviously in a circle. So where you'll notice a, um, a rider leaning, say on a straight line, would be maybe um, a team roper uh, going down the arena leaning towards their steer, right? If they're, if they're not quite close enough to throw their rope, they'll lean out into that right stirrup to try to get closer to throw their rope. The effects of that is the horse has to compensate for your shift in weight, and typically they're gonna wanna drift away from the direction you're leaning. So if I want my horse to move to the right and I lean to the right, it's the exact opposite effect that I want. His, his natural um, reaction to that response would be to move further left. In the circle example, Uh, Let's say we're going around a barrel or a a cow horse circling around a cow. The tighter that circle is um, and the more you want to lean to the inside, the more it causes that horse to lose weight on its hindquarters from driving from behind and actually start slipping, right? Because all of the weight's on the forehand. If the rider's leaned in there, you can see how I can almost cause this horse to go off balance when we go into that sharp turn and I lean off in there, you see how they all take that one big step with his front foot? When that happens, he has very little weight on his hind quarters, meaning he's not driving from there, and that's what can cause a horse to slip and fall down. This episode of Winning Insights is brought to you by El Lugar. Learn more at www.lencanto.cr. Thank you for tuning in to the Rides Winning Insights mini-sode podcast. We hope you enjoyed this mini-sode. Please be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and follow Horse and Rider on social media and at horseandrider.com to see all the cool things that we're up to. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to hit us up at horseandrider at equinenetwork.com. We love to hear from you guys. And if you love what you're listening to, please be sure to leave us a review on iTunes.